Um, so I'm a Christian, so I read King Jesus. Um, it's one of those things, though, that like he was saying, there's a lot of wacky stories in our religion. Uh, there's like, like one of the wacky stories that really gets me is the story of the Ten Commandments. The reason the Ten Commandments like gets me in my feelings is because the Ten Commandments are the top ten rules as given by God as to how people should treat each other. Top ten rules of how people should treat each other and uh, rape and slavery just didn't make the list. Uh, <laughs> Murder made the list. <laughs> Honor your parents. Don't look at your neighbor's ox made the list. But rape and slavery just fine. We don't need that in there. So it makes me rethink that story. Because the story that we got was Moses goes up the mountain. God's like, hey, here's some rules. He's like, cool. Goes down the mountain. Goes down the city. Sees everybody sinning. Gets so mad that he breaks the tablets. Goes back up the mountain. like, you got to give me some new rules. Then God gives him the new rules. That's the story we got. I don't believe it. I think what happened is Moses went up the mountain. God was like, here are my rules. As Moses was coming down the mountain, he started reading over the rules. Rule number one was don't rape people. He was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even doing that. That's crazy. And then rule number two was like, don't molest children. I don't think it would have like stopped it. I don't think it would have helped in a court case if number two was like, don't touch kids. And he's like, no, we're, we're not doing that either. I don't know why you would even put that. Number three was no slavery. He's like, how am I supposed to get work done? He's like, oh no. Okay, how am I going to handle this? Uh, oh, I got it. He goes back up to God. He's like, God, you won't believe what happened. I went down to the city and uh, everybody was sitting. They were worshiping cows and stuff. It was crazy. So you're going to have to give me some new rules. And God's like, mm-hmm. He's like, just one little edit, though. I know you're God. You got your rules. It's cool. Uh, little thing, just don't. You don't gotta put the rape and slavery thing in there. Like, we got that. We're humans. We don't need it. Like, we don't need you to spell that out for us. We got it. It's cool. And then God gave him the rules. So to me, Moses was the first, like, not all big guy. I just, I just feel like it's one of the 